Even though it's just a TV show, the special effects team behind Lucifer is so good that you'd think you're watching a movie. So if you want to know more about the grueling work that went behind the scenes on some of the Lucifer scenes, then just keep on watching. So here are the Lucifer most expensive scenes to film. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 5. Lucifer's Wings Were Hell to Design Who knew that a show about the devil would have trouble designing wings? Oh well. Let's talk about some of the problems they encountered while designing Morningstar's wings. Now, the first thing we should mention is that they're not anatomical bird wings. They're made to look cool, something like you would want your tattoo to look like. So if you look at Lucifer's aerial shot in the desert at the end of season 2, then you realize just how majestic they look. That's because, unlike Amenadiel's wings, who have short feathers with minimal groom, the ones on Lucifer have giant feathers and the groom is absolutely perfect because they knew they were going to be using them a lot throughout the show. The setup was robust and the feathers they used were so big that the ones on either side of his wings are as big as Tom's leg. And for all of the wings, they had one general rig. The only difference between all of the wing sets was the feather groom for each character. And here, you can see how they made them move. The controls of the wing would then drive the curves, which would, in turn, drive a live loft, also known as a membrane. So this is what the rough shape of Lucifer's wings looked like. After that, it was all about the wings, which were basically rectangular slabs that you can move and mold any way you want to. The point was to create the rough image of the wings and then work on the details individually. And finally, it came time for all the different feather textures. This was a pain to make because they couldn't just design one feather and just change its size. They actually had to make several different types of feathers that would later be placed where those slabs were in the previous shot. And here are just some of the different feather textures that the designers used to create Lucifer's wings. This is less than one-fifth of all the feather designs. Okay, just give these people the money and call it a day. Number 4. Lucifer saving Chloe from falling was a winged nightmare for the special effects team. This is one of the first scenes where we got to see Lucifer using his wings in flight. Speaking to the VFX team at COSA, Noman found out that this was a very difficult scene to design and therefore pretty costly. You can get the general splaying of the feathers as they kind of compress and go in and out, but you throw a tight curve in there and all bets are off. First of all, they had to not only make Lucifer fly, they also had to find out how the feathers would react to the gush of wind as Lucifer swept down to save Chloe. The first thing that they realized is that they need to smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, the first thing they realized is that the flutter could be incorporated into the fine groom. The small feathers weren't a problem. But to make things a little harder, the large wings didn't really enjoy being contracted behind Lucifer's back as he was falling. And even though we didn't see anything wrong with the wings in that scene, this is what they looked like on the computer screen. And of course, because they had full frame motion, blur, the V-Ray was getting a little slow for that special effects team, which means their renders weren't the fastest in the world. Number 3. Amenadiel's wings had to be cut from the show. Seeing how difficult it is to create the wing sets for each of the characters, it's no wonder the show had to make some unwanted wing cuts, literally and figuratively. The first one on the list had to be D.W. Woodside's wings. In the show, we saw Amenadiel losing his wings because he questioned God and his life choices. This turns out to be a costly mistake for Amenadiel, as he loses one of the things that are most precious to him his wings. It's a common thing that for budgetary reasons, not because of narrative reasons, someone's written yeah. or some aspect of a show is written out. Yeah. As for the show, removing his wings was a cost-effective move. Why? It's simple, really. Once you realize how much the damn thing costs to design and then to include in the scenes, the showrunners decided that it would be financially smarter to destroy Amenadiel's wings. Now, think about this for a second. The CGI for the wings was so expensive that they would rather change the entire plot instead of paying someone to design them. Well, guess that's what happens when you hire a company that does the VFX for The Conjuring 2, The Walking Dead, and even Stranger Things. Even though they were the first wings these special effects teams did, they had to cut them out of the show and make it seem like Amenadiel lost them because they were way too expensive to produce. 
Number 2. Every Winged Devil Scene If you thought creating a Minidil's wings would be too expensive, what would you think the price is for fundamentally changing the outlook of an entire character? Because that's exactly what Lucifer had to go through. Ever since the final episode in Season 4, Lucifer and his leathery demon wings, his burned red skin, and his charred face with red eyes became a standard on the show. That's partly because the budget per season increased after the Netflix took Lucifer under their wing. Still, they had to budget and use VFX wisely, because creating Lucifer's demon head was not as cheap as the show made it seem. Now, first of all, they didn't want to use prosthetics or makeup for the devil face because they wanted to add all of those scars and indentations in the head. Plus, they didn't want the devil's face to look different from Tom's real face. This is why you can see some similarities between Lucifer's face and Tom's face. Number 1. Killing Kane. And finally, we come to the most expensive scene of all. The one where Lucifer kills Kane at the end of Season 3. What was so difficult here? Well, how about the fact that every bloody, broken, and clean feather needed to be drawn by hand? And the scene was in slow motion, which means instead of the standard 200 FPS, they had to do something like 1000 FPS. Multiply that by the number of feathers and bullet holes, and you'd find out exactly why people charge so much for special effects. But that's not all. When Lucifer covered Chloe with his wings, those bullets broke some of his feathers. So, instead of the regular wings they made for the first set of wings, now they had to make an entirely new broken set of wings and a set of wings with blood stains on them. But remember, the blood couldn't cover the whole feather, so that's why they had to design a few feathers that were bloodied in the middle, a few at the bottom and a few at the top. Fun fact, they wanted to make Lucifer carry Chloe to the top of the building after Kane's men stopped firing at him, but at that point, they burned through their entire budget, and now they had to settle for a cutscene where they just showed Chloe and Lucifer on top of the building's roof. After all of this grueling work came the hard part. When Lucifer files into the room, the silhouette you see flying is a completely CGI'd version of the devil. The remainder of the scene was mostly CGI. Whether that was Lucifer breaking the vases with his wings or him feather punching bad guys in the face, it all had to be done in the special effects studio. Now, that's a lot of feather design if you ask us. On a related note, what epic battle would you like to see in Season 6? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.